So tonight, a new study on the COVID-19 vaccines found more cases of heart inflammation than expected among members of our U.S. military. It is raising questions about the role of exercise. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why experts say the vaccine's benefits still greatly outweigh the risks. From January through the end of April, the military administered 2.8 million doses of the vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna. A new study describes how 23 service members later developed chest pain and sought medical attention. Tests showed it was myocarditis. Myocarditis uh, is an inflammation of the heart muscle. And typically, this is seen in response to an infection. Dr. Christian Ramers is with Family Health Centers of San Diego. There's like 15 or 20 common offenders. Uh, things like uh, chicken pox can do it. Things like enteroviruses that cause uh, infections in kids can do it. Last week, the CDC said there was a likely link between a few hundred cases of heart inflammation and the vaccines. And the military study adds more evidence. They found all 23 cases were in men. All happened within four days of vaccination and most happened after the second dose. When the researchers broke down the numbers after the second dose, they say they'd expect to find between zero and eight cases of myocarditis from other causes. Instead, they found 19. The majority of people will not only get better, but they'll get better very quickly. UCSF's Dr. Peter Chinhong says the condition often involves sharp chest pain or shortness of breath at first, but it usually resolves fast, a lot of times without treatment. Most of the military cases had no symptoms within a week. Doctors aren't sure why the condition is more common in boys and young men, but the cases in healthy, fit military members are renewing questions about the role of exercise. People who develop myocarditis are told to avoid vigorous exercise for three to six months so the heart has time to heal. But some doctors are beginning to wonder if exercise just after vaccination could have an impact. I think that that raises a very important question is, do we recommend that people in this age range not exercise after they get the vaccine? I think it's an important question because there is data that if someone is experiencing myocarditis, they should not exercise because it can make it worse. Why it's happening is still a mystery, but other studies have found nearly 1% of college and pro athletes infected with COVID develop this heart inflammation. That means infection poses a much higher risk of heart problems than vaccination. If you want to get a risk, it's about anywhere in the order of 8 to 12 per million, which is a similar risk to drowning while swimming. The military researchers say their study should not diminish overall confidence in vaccination. They say the risk of heart inflammation is low, it's typically not serious, and the vaccine's benefits are much greater. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. The Defense Department says that 68% of active duty personnel have now gotten at least one dose of the vaccine, but the rates vary greatly among branches. The Navy has the highest vaccination rate at 77%. The Marine Corps has the lowest at 58%.